And we're back guys with another straight to VOD film and this one is called Susie Searches. Susie is an awkward college student with a failing true crime podcast. She seizes the opportunity to boost her popularity by solving the mysterious disappearance of the campus heartthrob Jesse. With her star on the rise, events soon take a dark turn and she digs out the truth and finds herself in over her head. Another straight to VOD film, you know, last couple ones haven't been so good if we want to go check those out go over here but uh this one was intriguing you know this one looks like it had a little bit more you know, oomph to it a little more production value and i like the premise you know the trailer though kind of gave the movie the whole movie away and i was kind of like I don't know if I'm gonna like this movie. <laughs> I will say that I kind of wish that this movie was just made into a TV series, you know, a limited TV series, you know, eight episodes or even a couple of seasons. I think that if they stretched the story along, it would have been a little bit more compelling and a little bit more, you know, shocking with the events and the revelations that they show in this film. You know, we got a tight, concise film. The pacing's a little bit slow. The reveals just come out, you know, right there and you kind of are left with just like okay that was it that was it but i don't want to come off as like i hated the movie or i thought it was really bad because that's not true the movie has a lot of good aspects to it the mystery aspect was cool like i said i just wish that it was more in a tv series kind of format because i think there's something really interesting and really good here that i think could have been like a cultural phenomenon where people are just sitting down every week and trying to figure out who the killer is and who who, who done it? Because our lead actress, Kiersey Clemens, she is doing an incredible, amazing job. And I just wanted to see her have more screen time because like I said, I, this could have been a Capelli show. I know I'm stuck on this aspect, but every, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, dang, this could have been great. This could have been great. But where I think the film kind of struggles is just the pacing. You know, we'll have some points in the film where they're progressing the story but then it'll have a, it will just halt it'll just stop and then we'll just do this little ring around the posy circle thing with the relationship that she's trying to have with jesse the you know heartthrob of the school and you know they do that like three times in the film and there is slow progression you know towards the story but like i said it just gets stuck at certain points and we just kind of just repeating the same lines you know doing the same events and i did at times find myself a little bit bored because I was just like, okay, hurry up, just, just get to what solving the crime and stuff. If there is one, you know, word of advice I can give with this film. Don't watch the trailer. You know, watch a review like you're watching right now, hopefully, before you watch the trailer. <laughs> because the trailer gives away a lot of stuff in here. And while I was watching the movie, I was just like, okay, I already, I already know what's going to happen. You know, I already know who the kidnapper is, who the, the, the bad guy is. And they try to cover themselves up with the ending of the film. Um, I don't know if it really worked. You know, it didn't really work for me. And they leave you on a, a, a ending that is not really satisfying, at least to me, because we know what's, what's going on already. And then when they end it the way that they did, it kind of just like, Really? <laughs> really? I know I'm being super, super vague here, but I can't really, you know, spoil it for you guys. Because if there is one thing that is, you know, surprising about this film, it is the third act. And I don't want to, you know, spoil that aspect for you. So if this movie is interesting to you, because I think the third act alone is worth checking this movie out. I don't know if it's like a current buy right now. Currently, I think it's like $6.99 on all the streaming, you know, rental platforms, Amazon you know, Google, Apple, all that stuff. I think it's $6.99, could be like $5.99 or something like that. I don't know if it's worth it right now. Maybe wait till like releases on Netflix or if Prime has it for free. But uh, as of right now, as soon as he searches, it's all right. It's a decent thing. Again, every time I say the word, I just want it to be a TV series because I think it would have been so much better that way. <laughs> but guys, let me know what you think about Susie searches in the comments down below. Did you like this one? Did you hate this one? Was this even on your radar? If it wasn't and uh, you got introduced to it because of me, congratulations. <laughs> but as always, guys, don't forget to check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. Um, I keep on forgetting it's not called Twitter anymore. It's called X. I don't think I'm ever going to not say Twitter. <laughs> and also check out my letterbox so you can see some in-depth 
movie reviews, probably not in depth, just like short little slippets and uh, some ratings because I don't give ratings here. So check my, check out my letterbox for that. And as always guys, keep watching movies.